Hi friends, welcome back to Oracle SQL and PL SQL group. So today we are going to discuss about the interview questions that are frequently asking in Accenture company. So here are the collection of questions on SQL. So SQL is a structured query language. It's a common language to talk with any kind of database. So here are the questions. So why, why do we wait? Let's get started. So the first question they are asking is tell me about yourself. So this is the common question wherever you go to attend the interview whichever the company it is. This is the first question you have to face. So coming into the technical questions. First question is do you know about trim function? What is the L trim and right trim? Do you know about padding? Then what is the L pad and R pad? So friends here the interview would be like you know they will ask you one question if you answer that question then they will go in depth into that concept say for example here they are asking about padding so if you explain what is padding then they will go <coughs> in depth concept like um, uh, padding types and what are the different types of paddings for uh, examples of paddings these type of questions you have to be ready to face so next question is what is in str function and what is a sub str function and also they will ask you the difference between in str and sub str function friends as we already know uh, in str is used to find the position of a string that means if i have rahul and i have to find h in between this word then we can go for in str but whereas sub str is like you know uh, if you wanted to find the substring of a main string then we can go for substring function so next question is what is the difference between union and union are so this is the most frequently asked question in each and every interview so most of the companies will always ask this question so here the difference between union and union all is uh, union will not allow duplicate values but union all will allow duplicate values this is the main difference and also when you use union there is a chance of uh, decreasing the performance of the database that means when you use union it won't allow you duplicate values that means here it is filtering the values so when you use union the performance of the DB will be decreased so it's better to go for union all when it is not needed so next question is difference between row ID and row number <coughs> so this is also one of the important question so here the main difference is like you know uh, row number is a a row number is like a sequel sequence of number like how we have serial numbers one two three four five so this is kind of serial numbers uh, wherever uh, wherever or whenever you uh, execute a sql statement uh, see for example if i am executing some particular sql statement and i am getting uh, four rows output so for each and every row it will assign a value one two three four so that is called as row number so when you say row id whenever you entering the data into the table that means whenever you are going to insert the data into the table that time the row id will be created so here the row id is unique so <coughs> if you want to sort out that unique data then you can use the row id so it is the fastest, fastest way to uh, sort or filter the unique records by using row id so on the next question is what is the row number function then what is the use of over class so friends here the row number uh, I already explained you what is row number and they are asking about what is the use of over class so over class is a one of the aggregate function we will discuss it later next question is do you know about join in SQL so joins here they are expecting joins what is the here you have to explain what is join and the types of joins so friends uh, join is like you know it is used to combine the columns from multiple tables it, this is the definition of a join and and in the uh, and coming to the types of joins we have several types like full join outer join inner join in outer join again we have left outer join and right outer join and also there is a self join cross join and the next question is what is the group by class so group by class is used to sort out the similar kind of data in a column that is the definition of a group by class and what is the use of having class with group by so friends when you say having mostly you know uh, having will be used followed by group by function so uh, for example if we are uh, I will here I will take a example 
how we use where class after a select statement likewise we will be using having class after a group by class so having is just used to filter the records so uh, say for example in select in normal select statement to select star from employee where here i am giving condition where employee is equal to 10 so in the same manner whenever you are using group by we have to put the condition under having so and that main difference between having and the where class is so in having we can use the aggregate functions but in where class we cannot use the aggregate functions this is the main difference and there is a chance of asking this question in interview so be prepared on this also so and the last question that i were faced while i attending the assignment interview is that what is pseudo columns so that's all friends these are the several questions based on sql asked in accenture company so please go through this question this may be helpful for your further interviews thank you thank you for watching this interview for detailed answers i will be uploading a next video please do subscribe to my channel and thank you friends thank you so much